We need to get something cleared up straight away. These Colossians are professing Christians. They are professing Christians. But on the other hand, Paul is saying they are in danger of falling by the wayside. And if you've been around church for a while, you're going to be raising an eyebrow. See, Jesus is pretty straightforward about this issue, isn't he? In John 10, he talks about being a Christian, being for keeps. If you're one of his sheep, then you're his for keeps and you're safe for good. So John 10 says this. The Jews who were there gathered round Jesus, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you're the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. So, so here we go. We're up against a situation where these people are rejecting Jesus. I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. How do you know they're not his sheep? My sheep, says Jesus, listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. What's a sheep? It's one of those furry things, four legs, that follows a shepherd. Follows a shepherd. We had the experience yesterday of bringing somebody else's sheep out of somebody else's field, out of somebody else's yard, somebody else's dog, and a bunch of people they didn't know. Ha, 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 how do you think it went? <laughs> it was great. It was great. Not the shepherd. Shepherd's ill. Can't go out there. <coughs> my sheep, says Jesus, listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. That's what a sheep is. And to those, he says, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Who is never going to be snatched out of his hand? His sheep, those woolly things with four legs, that follow the shepherd. <laughs> That's the definition of what will never be snatched out of his hand. Then what follows the shepherd? My father has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. My sheep, listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never die. So it looks as if once a Christian, then you're always a Christian, doesn't it? Carry on. It's to yourself now. No, it doesn't. Because that's not a sheep. Sheep follow the shepherd. That underlies his definition of who his actual sheep are in verses 26 and 27. They are the ones who actually functionally trust him and therefore go on trusting him. Now verse 27 is... is uh, Translated here in, in the most natural way in English, in the present, to say, they follow me, my sheep, they follow me. But if you pass that verb, you get a future tense. They will follow me. Isn't that interesting? Those who are truly and genuinely his will persevere in following Jesus. They need to persevere. And those who are genuine, genuinely will. So back in this verse in Colossians that we're looking at here, Paul is saying nothing contradictory of that at all. He says, now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish, and free from accusation, if you continue in your faith. Because that shows you're a sheep. That's what makes you a sheep. Established and firm. Do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. I'm not a shepherd in sheep now. Get sick of me talking about sheep. Always <laughs> sheep, okay, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to talk about buildings.